Hey guys, welcome to my uh, AWS video. Um, in today's video, I will be discussing about how you create an API gateway and um, how you integrate with the Lambda um, function. Yeah, um, so basically we'll start with uh, by creating an API gateway. We will uh, deploy a stage um, in API gateway and then we will uh, create a uh, Lambda function and then we will integrate with the uh, API gateway. So before that, I think uh, what I will do is uh, I'll quickly go ahead and give API gateway and uh, and uh, create a mock data. Okay, and then we will um, uh, integrate with the Lambda function. Okay, so uh, head over to your AWS console. Uh, I've already logged into my console. Um, so go go to AW um, API gateway as you see here, or simply type in the search box uh, as usual. Um, okay, click on API gateway so that you will land on this page. Okay, as soon as you land on this page, uh, we will be building a REST API. Okay, um, API management capabilities and then uh, within VPC. All right, so we will create a Lambda HTTP AWS services um, REST API. Click on the build. All right, um, click on uh, REST API, make sure you select the REST API and then uh, we are not building a WebSocket uh, and then clear, create, um, click on the new API and let's name this API called uh, my random, uh, maybe random test. All right, okay. Um, now create and click on create API button. So you should be able to see something like this. Um, so basically we have created a, uh, we are in the resources section. So what we'll be doing is first, let's create a resource uh, named uh, message. All right, so this is going to be our endpoint. Uh, so whatever, whenever we try to access um, the API, we will use this um, uh, API. We will use this link, uh, all right. Um, so message, all right, okay, click on create resource so now that you have created a resource now let's create a method uh, which is of type get select it um there you go so uh, this is my setup section uh, i'm going to set up a mock response as i said let's click on save um go to integration response um and then expand this window and mapping templates add mapping template which is of type application slash JSON, selected, and there you go. Um, now you have something like message. Um, I'm gonna say, hey, Murli. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna set up my, uh, click on save button that you see in the end. Um, and then uh, I don't think you need to click on the save button here, but that's fine. Uh, if you want to click and uh, go back to the messages uh, slash message get method execution this is the method request this is the mock response integration request and then response we have already set the mock response and then um we have we will go to the uh client uh that means in my case it's a user so you can test it by clicking on it uh by the way you see a little glitch on the screen that's because uh that's how the ui is currently in the aws amazon console all right, um, so click on test. Uh, there you go, you now see the message uh, which I have uh, given, right? Uh, I can see, I get the response that I have marked in my uh, API gateway. Now go back to the method execution. Um, so now that I'm happy with the local uh, testing, I'm happy that uh, the API is working for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go ahead to the actions and uh, we will deploy the API. And I'm gonna name this API as test for now. Click on deploy. Um, so you now see a stages, you're now navigated to stages and this is where you have deployed your code. All right, uh, cl right click, open up in a new window. Okay, um, so ignore this message. That's because um, you have not included the API. Uh, you remember we have created it with slash message. So you need to make sure that you need to enter the message slash message and hit enter. And there you go, you now see the um, JSON response. Uh, you can see the raw data by clicking on here. I'm using Firefox, by the way. Uh, so you can see that message uh, hammerly over here. All right, um, so now, uh, now that you have seen how uh, the um, API gateway works with a mock response, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change um, the, um, let's say I wanna change the um, integration request type. Uh, which was mock, but I'm going to change it to Lambda function. Select, I forget, uh, ignore the region for now. 
and uh, open up your Lambda function in a new window like so and then create a function which is named random generator okay so we'll create a random generator lambda leave node.js 18 change default execution role i think uh, you can leave this for now create a new role with a basic lambda permissions so that gives the permissions to like um cloud watch and stuff like that so you can ignore uh, default option and create function Okay, it's gonna take a while. Um, make sure you select the other from scratch. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Uh, there you go. So now it's it's created a random generator function. Okay, uh, go to index.mjs. All right. So now uh, if you double click, it will open up in a new window uh, and then go back to um, this is the simple lambda function i've written um, which will simply uh, choose one of these codes uh, from this array uh, it will select anything random between zero to four because the indexing starts from zero in array so it will pick any of these message any of this um, code uh, from this uh, codes array and then you will get the response okay and then we will see how we can transform transform uh, the uh, response in the avi gateway all right so now go back to the uh, Lambda function. Okay, this is where I have created my Lambda function. Just remove all of this stuff and paste it, um, the codes and click on deploy. And then let's test it. Okay, um, let's create a, because this is event based, we will need to create an event and uh, trigger Lambda trigger um, random, uh, random generator or something like that. And then just remove all of this stuff. You don't need it um and empty json click on save okay now let's test it click on test button uh there you go you got some response um be yourself which is coming from here okay and then let's try it again you see a, some some something else uh hit a couple of times and you see uh great okay so you now that you understand that uh we get a random um code from this uh, codes array now let's head back to the API gateway in my other window and uh, make sure you select the Lambda function and uh, um, try to, um, what is your Lambda function name? Random generator, yeah, there you go. So now that you see the random generator, okay, and uh, click on save and make sure, are you sure you wanna switch Lambda integration? Yeah, that's fine. You're about to give API permission to invoke Lambda function. Yeah, that's fine. Click on okay um there you go now you have successfully created a uh, lambda in integration um now go back to the get um uh, method and click on type or maybe go to integer integration response expand this empty um arrow click on mapping templates add a mapping template which is of type application slash json and select it and uh you can type something like we'll do the same thing like what we have done in the um in the previous uh, um demo in the previous example uh so we will add a message okay we will try and transform the message what we are getting from lambda is a simple string but here what we are doing is we are just transforming the um, input from the um, lambda and trying to convert it like dollar input dot body so which will give you the um uh, response from the lambda okay uh, and then now click on save um go back to your method execution click on test wait for the ui to load and click on test there you go you now see the message uh click on test again now you see a different message and test again now you see a different message again okay you understand how uh, we are we have integrated the api gateway with the um lambda and now uh, let's deploy the changes uh, to the staging uh, to my test environment click on deploy okay uh, so now that it is the same url that we have used here or maybe you can simply copy the link and paste the link and do slash message and because this is where we have deployed the changes enter and there you go now you see the uh, json response from your um, lambda function which is connected via api gateway now just click refresh a couple of times you can see uh you get a different message whenever you hit refresh because it is getting um the response from the lambda all right 
I hope uh, this gives some idea, guys. Uh, I hope you liked uh, this video. If you like, uh, please give it a thumbs up um, and share and subscribe. Please um, write your comments down. Uh, I will try and get back to your comments uh, whenever I get some time. And I will try and make more and more videos because I love sharing. Um, and uh, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you very much. And I will see you guys in my next video.